Hi, everybody. It is Sarah on Saturday, and it is a Lent late entry. It's 9.09 .09 Daylight Savings Time. That's because I worked until 8, and I went to Whole Foods. I got an email where they said that they've reduced their prices on so many produce items, and they were right. The only thing that wasn't really reduced were the berries, but um, cauliflower, avocado, tomatoes, green onions, and some other stuff. I mean, it was a it was a great deal. I got out of that place with a full heavy bag of produce, cauliflower, organic cauliflower, three ninety nine. I mean, it's just unbelievable. That would be five ninety nine at Stop and Shop, and they're on strike this week, so I wouldn't go there anyway. But um, and I know it's three forty nine at um, Trader Joe's, so I spent fifty cents more, but I was just in one store and it was raining and all that. So yeah, loved it. So then I came home and I got a chuck roast at Market Basket. So I wanted to get that browned in, in the oven in my math at Stewart, a little crock pot, you know, enameled crock pot. And um, I took some organic coffee, a Keurig, opened it up and I rubbed the coffee all over the roast. And then I, I browned it in um, coconut oil. And I forgot all about um, using coffee for a chuck roast. Um, I remember somebody at the shelter did it once. I was watching her cook because she was a fabulous cook and I learned so much from her. And um, she reached over and took the coffee pot and like poured in, you know, a third of a pot of the coffee. And it's like, what do you do that for? Oh yeah, you've never done that before? And it's like, no. And so I did it for a while and I completely forgot. It must have come to me in a movie or something. So I did that. So that's in the oven. I had to get that going. Feed the cats. Give Freddy his med for his chewed off tail. And um, and start some laundry. So here I am, sat Sarah on Saturday with a couple of chores done. So I got this. Somebody had, uh, after my um, thing on the Kitu creamer and the macadamia nut, um, macadamia nut milk, milkadamia, that you buy in these sort of um, containers, a septic, is that what they're called? So somebody had wrote that this is what they have and it's um, Califia or Califia, better half, another um, dairy free item, unsweetened coconut cream and almond milk. And the only questionable thing that it has is, and, and a couple of the others had the same thing too, is the sunflower lecithin but it's got all the same things um, as the other ones. And I think the other one had sunflower lecithin too, but also one of those organic creamers that somebody sent me to try out. So this is delicious. And this is two tablespoons for 15 calories. Hello. So two tablespoons made it this amount of um, dark. So the Kitu definitely makes it um, a little bit lighter. So this is all the same things, no carrageenan, um, kosher, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, non-dairy. So um, coconut cream and almond milk, they also had hazelnut. So just thought I'd share that with you today. And my reward for sharing that is that I get one more sip and then. So it's finally hit the 50 mark here on Cape Cod, but it's pouring out. <laughs> We call that April. Um, so, but that's okay. I've got my pizza and food prepping to do because I have my Instacart um, tomorrow. And um, so I wanted to get all the stuff done today. And so that pleases me. So yeah, here I am. And um, I've put my food in. Today is keto pizza day. So I will have that. And um, then I'll prep some veggies that... Um, Greg has throughout the week and um, that we cook in the brain, big green egg tomorrow. So um, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm not a wealth of information. Who did I watch last night? I began, I watched, um, well, the homework assignment that I gave to Mike for our girly and cowboy episode and the one that he gave me, I watched those each one more time just to get a little bit smatter. And I was watching Tristan Primal Edge Health with um, with his, uh, what did he have? 
somebody low, can't think of her first name, but she's a psychologist from England. And wow, is she a good sport? She was really good. And she's a vegan. She um, doesn't like eggs, otherwise she'd be a vegetarian. She's never had steak in her entire life, or she had a bite of it once and she doesn't didn't like it. But she's so easygoing. She is so non-confrontational about the way that she eats. Um, she was really a joy to listen to, and she and Tristan are both brilliant in their own way, knowing historical parts of our world and the geopolitical climate, which does ne it will never have our best interests at at hand and um, with things like, and then he, they had somebody that wrote a hundred years ago, they predicted that we'd be eating um, um, fake food. Um, only the rich could afford a steak. Well, that, well, that'll keep me eating beef every day. <laughs> so anyway, there was that. And I got into vegan police, but I didn't finish that. And um, I think that's about it. Sometimes, because my brain is a sieve, I forget what I've watched, so I can't even share it with you. But that was Primal Edge Health, and it's a two-hour video. So um, I was enjoying that. And then the two homework assignments between um, Carnamad, um, Mike, and myself that we will be talking about in a couple of days. Yeah, we're going to record at an undisclosed location, probably the historic studios in Austin, probably. Um, so yeah, that that is it. Um, so I'm just going to go play with food, which is what I do. I listen to all my talk radio shows that are on Saturday only. So it's just kind of a pleasant kind of day for me. I work again tonight, so I had to be good and zingy by then. And then I work for Instacart or I should say I'm on shift from 8 to 11. I don't think it's busy down here at all because I just don't think it is. Because um, my only shift that I had this week, sadly, only one shift, um, I had nobody. So, yeah. So it's not like I'm going to be buying a Learjet anytime soon to do a smackdown at your house if I catch you doing something you're not supposed to. Just so you know. So that's about it. Rather than bore you with blah and blah and blah and blah, I'm just going to go get busy, enjoy this, and um, come back and see you all again at a new time. But thank you very much for um, listening. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and um, no messy Mondays, you know, that kind of thing. And um, good for you. I will see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching. It's been fun having you here. I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.